This is the wire for 2230 Zulu, March 25th, 2024. Precedence is routine. Information cutoff is 2130. Bottom line up front. United Nations Security Council approves temporary Gaza ceasefire resolution. Beginning with international events. In France, the terror alert scale has been raised to its maximum level following the terror attack in Moscow. Analysts comment. It is unclear as to why France has done this. The nature of the Moscow attack and the highly questionable details of the incident does not lend itself to being an indicator of follow-on attacks, or at least not any more than France experiences routinely. However, French authorities could be concerned with the potential reactionary attitudes throughout their nation, which may increase the chances of copycat attacks. On the home front in New York, the United Nations Security Council adopts a ceasefire resolution for Gaza following the abstention of the United States. Analyst comments for this wire. The impacts of a UN Security Council ceasefire resolution are unclear for many reasons. The text of the resolution itself is half-hearted at best, only intending to provide a ceasefire for the last two weeks of Ramadan. No continuing peace agreement is on the table. However ineffective this resolution may be, perhaps the most significant impacts will be had on the diplomatic front. The abstention by the United States, instead of a no vote, has soured relations with Israel, with Prime Minister Netanyahu canceling an official visit to the United States because of it. However, this does highlight the unique nature of special interest groups in American politics. Pulling official government policy in every direction usually was confusing and contradictory results. Competing and contradictory interests, even within government agencies, have obfuscated all U.S. policy regarding this conflict for some time. Of course, it is up to the belligerence of the conflict as to whether or not a ceasefire shall be reached. A piece of paper at the United Nations means nothing on the ground. Likewise, the involvement of the United States on either side is uncertain. If a ceasefire agreement comes into effect, what is to become of the U.S. military operation to build logistical infrastructure in Gaza? As with almost all U.S. foreign policy conducted over the past few decades, it is often challenging to discern whether inexperience, corruption, or imbecility of the highest order is the cause for American diplomatic follies overseas. However, in this case, the combination of all three is likely to result in little change in the conflict with regards to American involvement. This concludes the wire for 2230 Zulu, March 25th, 2024.